How you doing, Mr. DJ? Uh, resuming countdown my fancy playlist, July 24th, 1994. And uh, going to cut a couple of videos tonight due to time constraints. Just a couple, maybe three, <laughs> perhaps. Uh, at number nine, got another hip-hop record. A big hit in the summer of 1994. Remember, finally, those rap records back in the early 90s. There was uh, I Got a Man by Positive K. That was really nice. Flax by Mad Cobra, a reggae-flavored singing rap record in late 1992. And, uh, of course, Regulate by Warren G. I already talked about that one earlier in the countdown. Not to mention What's My Name and, uh, oh, gosh, Gin and Juice by Snoop Doggy Dogg in 1994. And now we got Funkify by The Brat at number nine on my fantasy playlist, up three from number 12 the previous week. The Brat, her real name was Shanae Harris. Shanae Harris, she got a big break. She was about 18, 19 years old when she got a grand prize. She won a rap contest that was sponsored by Yo! MTV Raps. Remember that show? Gosh, that brings back some memories. That's like 120 minutes there. Their alternative show on MTV and they had that rap show, Yo! MTV Raps. That was a real popular show back in the day. Late 80s, early 90s. Well, anyway, as part of that grand prize, uh, Shantae Harris, she met Chris Cross. And they were on a roll back in the early 90s. They had Jump and then Warm It Up Chris in 1992. Chris Cross introduced uh, Shantae to uh, Jermaine Dupri. Jermaine Dupri, Dupri he, he signed her up to his label called So So Death, and he produced her first album. Her debut album sold one million copies. Shantae Harris, she changed her name to the Brad because uh, she cons considered herself a spoilt only child, or something like that. And uh, Funkified, it sold over 800,000 copies. Went to number six on Billboard's Hot 100, went to number two on R&B. Kept out of the number one spot by a Janet Jackson record, which I can't remember the name of right off the top of my head. But bottom line was, boy, she made a big splash with that debut with Funkified. I believe that's all I got to say about this record for now. And by the way, it samples a song by the Isley Brothers, uh, Between the Sheets, which came out in 1983. That song, by the way, by the Isley Brothers, not that well known to the pop audience. Well, I'll just be blunt, not necessarily that familiar with the white audience, but on R&B, it was a huge R&B hit back in 1983. It's one of, probably one of the most uh, signature R&B hits. The melody of it, very recognizable. And it, it flows right through this funkified rap tune by DeBrad at number nine on my fantasy playlist, July 24th, 1994.